listen Do your own math and learn from the stuff that you are missing Create your own path with your own vision Hey, this is Rodney Porter for Homeless Not Helpless TV. Today's date is July 25th, 2010, Sunday. We have a new format for our new season, which begins in September. We'd like to give you a little insight and a little bit about what we will be doing. We're revamping our shows. We're condensing shows. A couple of our popular entries, survival skills, dictionary time. Today's show is entitled Personal Growth. It's definitely a thing we all need to have a constant reminder of ourselves but I'm speaking on behalf of myself and if you fall under that category very good you will be listening for myself personal growth is attaining as a man the full ability of manhood and that's covering a lot of bases. Some are good in others. Some might not be good at all in anything. But that's all in the mind. For myself, personal growth, I want to talk about saying no to people. When you say no to people, for myself, I always thought, I don't want to disappoint anybody. If they're counting on me, I don't want to do that. Say no. So I always would go out my way to say yes. Or go out my way to help. To my detriment. What I mean, I've been receiving SSI since October of 2009. This is July 2010. And it's hard for me to say no course to my kids to my mom but sometimes you have to say no I'm still in my car a friend of mine let me stay here and there uh, at his place but it's time to find my own place of course I'm not gonna say no and cut it all off but I will be saying and like I told my kids I told my mom let me get in my place first I have to say no right now because I'm sick and tired sitting in this damn car when I know I'm capable of doing so many other things. Like get my place, progress in my businesses, which I do have. I will be getting my license in a couple of my businesses. One, a cleaning business. Another, advertising business. You know, flyers door to door I have to say yes to myself and no to the loved ones that I love and that's very very hard for me personal growth is saying no and not have that individual to be very very upset and they might even say bad things about you I can't I can't care about that anymore I love my mom, I love my kids, and I'm going to help them no matter what. But right now, I have to say no to giving money. No one said, of course, my kids are not going to say, but my mom has never mentioned, well, let me. Let, you should get in your place first. But I love my mom. I want to help my mom, but I have to tell her that, you know, let me get in my place first. So it makes me feel indifferent. To, it's like I'm feeling a cold feeling inside. And I hate that. I hate it. Saying no is nothing wrong with that. As long as you're consistent about helping. You know, next month will be 10 months that I've been in my car since I've received my, my money. And I definitely should have been in my place 10 months ago. 
with the love I have inside for my friends, more importantly my family. I know God looks up and looks down, I should say, and, and sees the goodness in my heart. But also, he doesn't want me to be stupid. Take advantage of your opportunities. Be strong, say no, and don't let it affect you. Don't worry about that. A lot of people don't have that problem, but quite a few others have a problem of saying no to people. I have quite a few friends that will say no in a second and wouldn't care. So just balancing that gives me personal growth inside. And I can't tell you how good it makes me feel to know that once I do move in, my place is taken care of. That check is for my place. I have enough to you know, take care of the responsibilities, which is utilities, food, gas. So now I'm working on having some money for myself and to give to my family, my mom and my kids. And that's where the businesses come in. That's where my other entities come in. My book, Journey to Manhood and Homeless, Not Helpless. And once I get my place, I'll be able to stay focused. I'll be able to maintain a consistency and blossom and do what I need to do. It's hard when you're scattered and I you know, feel like a chicken with his head cut off. I definitely understand that cliche. Nothing gets accomplished. And if it does, it gets accomplished 50% of the time, 60% of the time, and that's not good at all. So personal growth for me is saying no and meaning and mean it and not to let it not allow it to affect me because I get real real sad when it affects me personal growth in your life is doing something that you said you never do something you always wanted to do and you you do it it might be saying no to others so you can understand and believe in what I'm saying there's nothing wrong with saying no you don't have to have a cold heart when you say no. But the individuals you're saying no to must understand, whether it's family or friends, because you only can help yourself. Then you're able to help others. Rodney Porter, this day, Sunday, God's day, please have a wonderful, wonderful day. This has been personal growth for homeless not helpless TV have a good one see you